What up, nerds? In this video, we're going to cover a lot of things. So I had to make an intro on this. One, if you're running into the problem of streaming from a webcam and seeing all the data around it, like the record buttons and all of that, get, and you're using a Canon M50, I'll show you how to get rid of that. Two, if your camera keeps shutting off when you're webcamming on the camera, I figured out that. But... Three, the one thing I have not figured out is how to keep it going without the standard Canon 30-minute errors. But of course, in this video, we're also going to unbox the Elgato Screen Capture 60S Plus. Intro. What is up, nerds? It is me, your buddy, your pal, Hey Archer. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Another cool unboxing for all of you to help build this channel in our 101 series. Hopefully, you're building your YouTube studio at the same time as me. And what we have today is going to be something to actually help with live streaming. So, let's unbox... HD 60S Plus from, I believe, Elgato as well. It is from Elgato. It's a whole Elgato family going on here in the desk. All right, check it out. The purpose of this is, is to actually attach my camera to my computer so that way when I'm doing the Hey Archer Lives or any other live videos, you can actually be watching off of my camera as opposed to off the webcam. The reason that this actually is gonna be a little hard to find is now that everybody's working from home, capture cards are becoming, and, and webcams are becoming impossible to get. Now, Elgato makes a 4K stick that actually is the most popular one for just plugging in a camera into your computer. This capture card is actually much bigger. It is USB powered as well, but you'll see it's a much larger device and it's primarily made for capturing video game uh, playing that you're doing but apparently you can actually use it for a camera as well so let's unbox of course and then let's see what it does all right so first thing that we're going to do is plug it in and see if it actually is plug and play now in that video i was watching they mentioned that if you're looking at this the 60s does not work you'd have to get the 60s plus actually. all right so before i continue i want to show you guys what the end result is that we want as far as the screen supposed to look like okay so so right now you're looking at ecamm live i've shown you this before if you don't remember this is what i use in my live streaming however i've actually been using it a lot to even do just a voiceover on stuff now, the idea is gonna be that when I switch through the different uh, camera scenes, one of them to be the camera that I'm using to film, which would be the Canon uh, M50. Uh, and you should hopefully be able to use any DSLR camera or other camera you want. It would actually appear when you select the scene over here that you can choose it as a camera option. Right now, the only thing that's connected is the webcam. So that's why when I click on the camera button, it doesn't show me. So we're gonna, I plugged in the Elgato into the computer. It's plugged in with USB-C. All right, so the camera is plugged into the Elgato, into the in, and the out of the Elgato is plugged into my adapter. So, so right now we are back in Ecamm Live. I go to the camera button. Oh my God, it works. So right now, camera's on. Boom. Wow. All right, so, as you can see on Ecamm, at the bottom here, there's the option to go to the webcam, and then there's the option to go to the main capture card. All right, so now it's in manual focus, so you should not see the box around. 
love it. Love screwed up this is as it's a learning process for everybody. So, um, so yeah, the clean HDMI, if you ever see a YouTuber reference that when they're talking about a camera, all it means is normally when you're looking through your, um, the screen on your camera, you'll see all the stats. And when you plug your camera into the computer, since it's mirroring what the camera sees, you're going to see all the stats, the batteries and all of that. Clean HDMI means the camera gets rid of all of those stats. So on the Canon, there's a way to do that by hitting the info button and there's different views that it has. And one of them, of course, is getting rid of all the stats. So if anything, you might see, let me see on the, no. So it's not showing you guys like a record button or anything, but it's showing you manual focus, I think, right? Yeah, manual focus might still be on. So let me try. I turned off live demo and then let me know if it still says manual focus. It probably does. So actually now you're seeing it not as clean HDMI. So I'll go through the settings again and see if we can get rid of everything that's on the screen. All right, we're going old school here with the camera footage off the phone throwback. I want to show you how everything is plugged in currently and the workaround that I got for the power on the camera turning off. Now, I have not yet figured out how to keep the camera going beyond 30 minutes without any kind of notifications or, or warnings. I have figured out how to keep it going beyond 30 minutes without the camera shutting off though. So let's start at the camera. So right now we have our camera on the tripod and you're gonna see this plug here. It's going to an external battery pack. And that is because I found online and I'm gonna link it down below a um, extension for your camera so that is on DC power via a fake battery in the camera that you plug in to an external battery pack so you get longer shoot times on it now for the sake of your camera it's risky I don't know if this long term could damage my camera or not uh, taking the risk on it but at the moment I'm able to plug in my camera plug it into the battery pack and I've not had to recharge a battery or anything because if anything at night, I just plug in the external battery pack. This one's also an insanely powerful battery pack, so I have not had to do anything with it since. So on the other side of the camera, so the HDMI out runs down, goes into the Elgato 60S Plus. Now, this is the inside of the Elgato coming from the camera. This, it's, it's a little deceiving, this is the USB-C out that's going to be running to the computer. This is the HDMI out also running to the computer. The first problem was here when I was trying to get it to work. The Elgato HD60S Plus was running into my hub, my USB hub. And then I had the USB hub going into my actual adapter to get USB into my computer. This was not... Um, this was not doing the trick as far as getting constant communication with the computer. So the other issue I had was with HDMI. So right now I have an HDMI switch that I bought. So I have my monitor going into the switch and the Elgato going into the switch. So coming out of the switch, we have the HDMI for the video feed that's running into the capture card. And then we have the USB from the capture card going into my adapter. So overall, I'm loving the Elgato stream, stream capture card. Uh, some of the issues that I'm having, I believe are beyond the Elgato. So for example, starting with the camera, the notification signs and the camera turning off. Those are issues I think I'll be able to work outside of Canon um, by just going through different links and whatnot it's still doable so for those of you who have the issue of the camera keeps turning off you have to keep it powered and you have to if anything just stand up and play with the a, a button to get the screen back on so it's not the end of the world but it works uh, as far as the elgato 
picking up the camera and showing it in Ecamm. There's been a couple of moments where I plug everything in and the camera doesn't pop up right away. I believe the workaround that I've that I've done so far a couple times that has worked is one, the laptop has to be powered uh, through AC power. Can't do any of this without it plugged in. Two, I have the Ecamm USB plugged into my USB adapter directly and all my other USB stuff that's in on my USB hub, that plugs in separate, right? So I don't have the Ecamm going into the hub and then into the adapter. I have the hub going and then the adapter separate. A couple times I've plugged everything in and the camera won't be shown in Ecamm. So I unplug the hub, I unplug the Elgato, I plug in the Elgato. Once that turns on, then I plug in um, the USB hub. So that's one of the little workarounds I've found. The streamlined quality of having that camera quality, having Ecamm picking it up, it, it's, it's already made editing even faster. So overall, I'm thrilled with this. I believe at the time of me shooting this video, because this, this has been about a week long testing. Uh, at the time of me shooting this video, I think the Elgato 60S Plus has sold out. And I keep saying Ecamm, I think, instead of Elgato. So um, I think the Elgato stream capture card has sold out. So it might be back. I'm gonna link it down below. And I'm gonna keep an eye out on the Elgato USB capture card uh, as, as opposed to the 60S Plus. Now, again, warning. If you see the Elgato screen capture card and it says 60S, don't buy that one. You want the one that has the plus after the S. So the 60S Plus. With that being said, thank you for watching. This has been the longest unboxing ever. Unboxing and installing it, I guess. Uh, it's taking me a week to do this because tr it's trial and error. Um, but I'll talk to all you nerds in the next video.